So today, in the plus zone, I'm going to be showing you my cube collection at, of the end of 2018. Let's get started. So starting off with 3x3, three three, um, I have to a total of 6 3x3s three that I've collected throughout the year. And I'm going to be starting off with my least favorite. So my least favorite is this uh, Ben 10 picture cube. Um, and I did, already did a video on it where I added lubical soak, so you guys should totally check it out. It's a great video. Um, and the turning is not that good, as you have to use two hands. But after adding lubricant silk, I'm able to finger trick on it. And overall, the color rec recognition is really hard, and it's really hard to solve with all the pictures on it. That's why it's my least favorite. Okay, so next up, I have this Rubik's Cube 2.0, which was my second Rubik's Cube that I've ever bought, and I actually bought it at the beach. And it has a really clacky like sound and it's just very unpleasant to turn um, but the color shades are okay and it's a tiled cube um, then I have this spooky speed cube which I bought from speed cube shop and I really love the color shades and everything and it's a Yushin fire which is kind of bad but overall, it's a really fun cube to just play around during the Halloween season. Okay, and then I have the Mini Vault 4.74, uh, which I got for OH, but I still haven't learned how to do it. And it's in white, and this is like my favorite color shade. I really like the dark blue and the dark red, and the neon green and the white. So I this is a cube that I got for Christmas this year, and it's the Cubicle Labs um, Yushin Low Magic M. And the turning is really nice, and I actually used it for my main, and it's still probably going to be my main, even after owning the Angstrom Ginner SM. The color shades are really nice, the turning is really smooth, except there's one problem, it has frosted plastic, so it's kind of slippery. But that's okay, after using Gravity Grip, uh, from speed cube shop it really helps um when i doing my solves on it so it's good and it's also really cheap but it performs like a high quality puzzle so and my favorite puzzle well this is probably tied with the yushin low magic m is this angstrom ganner sm which i actually made by myself and stickered by myself these are full fitted stickers from speed cube shop and i know what you guys might be thinking why are you making trying to make a cubicle at Angstrom Cube with Speed Cube Shop stickers? Well, I personally really like the full fitted uh, stickers and how they look, and the turning is really nice. Um, and currently, I have yellow GES nuts installed in them. So yeah, that's for my three by three. And now let's move on to three two by two. Three. I only have three cubes, and I'm gonna be starting off with my least favorite one, which is the Cyclone Boys two by two. I just, this is actually my first 2x2 two two that I ordered off Amazon, and the turning's extremely bad, and it's really loud. But the color sheets are okay, I just don't like the fluorescent orange, but overall, it's a good cube for beginners. Next up, um, well, this is kind of like, this is a um, YJ MGC V2. Um, two by two that's magnetic and it's signed by uh, Max Hiller Kevin Hayes and cube solve Hilo hero which is really cool this is basically the cube where I get all my signatures and it's overall like one of the best two by twos I've ever tried even better than this cubicle labs mf2m Overall, this cube is really heavy, and I do like heavy cubes, but this is just too heavy. And it has a little bit of a frosted plastic, which is meh, okay. The magnet magnetic strength is not that strong, and it has a really soft feeling, which I don't like. I like more crunchy cubes, which is why um, the MF2M is a really good cube. And I keep it in this uh, storage box so that the signatures don't get ruined. So yeah, I have three 2x2s and they're all pretty awesome. Uh, going on to 4x4s, I only have two 4x4s. This is my first 4x4 and this is my second. So this is a Z-Cube um, carbon fiber 4x4, which I got off Amazon. 
And overall, the turning's okay. Corner cutting's not really there. But the turning's really nice, and it's just overall a fun cube to use. So this is the um, the uh, Mini Wukwe M 4x4. It's magnetized, and I really like the color shades, except the fluorescent oil orange. But I like how the um, outer layers are not doesn't have that big of a magnetic bump while the inner layers are really bumpy but overall this is my main 4x4 and it really fits my finger size as my fingers are small and I totally recommend this for a main 10. 5x5 I currently only own one 5x5 which is a Sheng Shao Gem 5x5 and it's actually surprisingly really good um, well, it's not really good, but it's good enough for the price I got it, which was $4 off the cubico.com. And the turning is decent. There's no corner cutting, but the color shapes are really nice. On to Pyramixes. I have two Pyramixes. This is uh, the first Pyramix I got, which is off Amazon. It's an Elocity Pyramix, which has ball bearings in it, and it doesn't turn that good. Yeah, corner, there's no like corner cutting or anything, but the color shades are extremely nice. And then next I have the Stickerless X-Men Bell, which is really nice and smooth. The tips are also magnetic, which I don't like. And I still haven't figured out how to take out the magnets from the tips. But overall, this is a great uh, pair mix that I got this year for Christmas. I want to Mega Mixes. I have two Mega Mixes. Um, this is the X-Men Galaxy V2M, and I actually won this from CubeSolve Heroes Giveaway, um, and I got this uh, Mega Mix, and the turning's really nice, but um, I kind of regret getting the magnetic version, because the magnetic version is just, like, you can't really get high TPS on it, so I kind of wish I got the non-magnetic version of this cube, but that's okay. And this is my first Mega Mix, and after looking at this, it's really big. Um, and the turning is really nice for $7.95. But it's just a little bit too big for my hands. And this is a Chi EQ Hang S Mega Mix. But the color shades are also really nice, and it has a similar design where it has a sculpted. Richard. I want to square ones. I have two square ones, but this one is currently broken and I can't seem to fix it. It, it popped. But this is the Mofeng Jiaoxi um, square one. And I mean, the turning is really, really bad. Well, it's not that it's like hard to turn, it's just that it's too fast and uncontrollable. While the Chi E Kufa square one has really nice turning that is very smooth, but it's really hard to turn. So I totally recommend putting like DNM or Lunar or something like that. Um, these layers are really easy, hard to turn, but this one is really easy to turn. And I really like the color shades on this cube. And this is my main cube, like my main skew. Cube, I currently own one skew, which is the X-Men uh, wingy skew that I got for Christmas. And it has really nice turning, but I don't really see any use for the magnets because it's extremely like, you can't really feel the magnets at all, but the color shades are really nice. And it, the sculpted, um, the sculpted, it's really easy to grip. On to non-WCA puzzles. I actually own quite a few of non-WCA puzzles, so I'm just gonna go in random order. I have this uh, snake puzzle, which I got off the cubicle. And you can just like create fun designs and fun patterns on this, so it's not really a puzzle. Next up, I have this Z Cube um, Christmas Cube, which actually surprisingly has really nice turning, and it's a, a great holiday themed puzzle. Next up, I have this Lee Fun Two by Two by Three Shape Mod or Cuboid, and the turning is really good, and I'm pretty sure it's as good as a Chi E. Um, cuboid. So yeah, the color sheets are also really nice on here, and it's a stickerless puzzle. Next up, I have this YJ um, Guanglong uh, windmill cube. I'm pretty sure. I just don't know how to solve the last layer on this, but it's pretty easy to solve. Besides the last layer, 
and it's a shapeshifter. Next up, I have this Mofang Jiaoshi Master Morphix. The turning is really smooth on this. Um, but this is, so I don't know what to compare it to, but the turning is surprisingly smooth on this for such a low price. Next up, I have this um, shape mod, or it's like a mirror cube, and it's an orange, but it's like extremely smooth. Like, this is like so good. It's better than most mirror cubes, and it just can even corner cut and everything. But it has extremely smooth turning, which is what I really love about it. And it's also really fun to solve. I have this leaf on um, uh, gear shift. And I can't seem to figure out how to solve this corner. And I tried to figure it out, but I just can't. But overall, it's a really nice turning puzzle. Like, really, really easy to turn. So, yeah. I have this mini uh, Rubik's keychain cube, which I put on my cube bag when I take it to competitions. The turning is really good, even after I put uh, lube in it. I put some uh, water-based lube in it to speed it up, and it actually has speeded up. But it's just a really fun cube, and my friend gave it to me. So I have this pie puzzle, and I don't really like it because it's so hard to solve and it's also kind of awkward to turn because you can't really go like this you have to use both hands to turn it but it's a really fun puzzle anyways i have this uh sudoku puzzle um that i got from a birthday and the turning is okay so i added loop to it and it actually got way faster but it's not that high quality. And finally, I have this Molly Cube, which I got for getting good grades. And it has this ball bearing, or like, it has a clicky sound. Um, and it's actually really fun to solve, but I've only been able to solve it, like, four times. Because, like, I took a picture and then followed the picture. But, yeah, it's really cool.